let's say we've got a first and 10 at the 50 yard line. What should we do? Should we run? Should we pass? Well, obviously we should do some of both, right? Unpredictably. Can't do the same thing all the time. But how would we know what we're doing too often or not often enough? Let's say that a run on average gets us about 4.0 yards per carry. And a pass gets us, say, 6.5 yards per carry. Yards per attempt, rather. In this case, we'd say, yeah, we'd want to pass more often. Um, that's the bigger payoff. But we all know there's a lot more going on than just yards. So when we run, we could fumble. We could have a penalty. When we pass, we could also have fumbles. We could have penalties. And we could have an interception. We could have sacks. We're more likely to get something like pass interference, defensive pass interference, which would be a positive penalty. So there's a lot of going on here, a lot more than just yards. So we need a better way to understand uh, the value of certain situations and the value of outcomes in football. Well, let's say we've, on that first and 10 at midfield, we, uh, we gained uh, eight yards on a play. Doesn't matter. Let's say it was a run, eight yard run. But there was a flag on the play, and we could either have a first and five at the opponent's 45, should be plus 45, or we could take that second down and two at the opponent's 42. Well, which one is better? Well, we could just intuitively try to guess which one is better, or we could have a better way of understanding the value of different football situations and different outcomes. And that is expected points. And that's what we'll talk about now. So let's say at that at midfield, that first and 10 at um, the 50, over history, over any period you want to say, uh, the past year, two years, five years, any relevant time frame, let's say we've got, <clears throat> sometimes we score uh, on some of our possessions, we score seven points. Sometimes we score three. No. Sometimes our opponent gets the ball. We don't score at all. We have to punt or there's a turnover. Our opponent scores a touchdown. Sometimes our opponent gets field goals. Sometimes we get touchdowns. And so on. Sometimes we maybe we miss uh, we miss an extra point here and there. You know, over the course of several years, that's going to happen. Um, uh, maybe our opponent um, misses an extra point on a touchdown. Anyway, we add up all those times, all those drives, all those possessions, all the first downs at the 50, and the next score. So that's what these all are. These are the next score um, in that volley of possessions. So even if I, let's say, don't score, that doesn't mean I, I put down a zero here. It means I look for the next score. So if that's an opponent's score, that's minus three. If it's my score, it'd be plus three or plus seven or plus six. Maybe there's a, uh, um, you know, I punted, ended up punting, and I, my defense was able to score a safety. That would be plus two. Or eventually my opponent pinned me against the end zone and I ended up uh, having a safety. So we add all that, all those instances up 
take the average, and it turns out it's about two points is the average, positive two points for a first and 10 at the 50. And that makes sense. I mean, if you think about it, intuitively, we've got, uh, you know, first down around midfield. I'm pretty close to, you know, only about one more first down away from being in field goal range. There's a good chance I'm going to continue this drive and be able to score a touchdown as well. Um, and there's also potential I'm going to end up needing to punt. And my opponent can score and so on. So we can do this for not just the 50, but we could do it for the opponent's 40. We could do it for our own 40, our own 20. Heck, we could do it for everything. We could do it for 49-yard line, the plus 49-yard line, all the way across the field from our own end zone to the opponent's end zone. And we can have a value, this is the 50, right? At the 50, it was 2. And it's going to increase as we get closer to scoring a touchdown to the point where it's almost 7 points, right? Just think about it. I mean, if we're on the one millimeter yard line, we're just a hair away from scoring a touchdown, which is typically seven. And if we're just on the one millimeter yard line in front of our own end zone, that'd be almost pretty much a safety. Um, and we can call that uh, minus two points. So if we do that, if we do this exercise, we add up and average the... Uh, next scores at each yard line, what we get is a graph that looks like this. So this is the opponent's end zone. This is our own end zone. It's the 50. And we get averages that kind of look like this. There's some noise, right? Depending on how much data we have, how many years of data we use, we get some randomness involved in the, in the variable here. And overall, if we smooth that out, We kind of take an average of averages, like maybe a moving average or some other way to smooth. I prefer regression type called the lowest, which is a localized regression um, at, each, at each point here. Anyway, what we get is a curve that looks a lot like this. And remember we said uh, this is going to be around 7 points. This is close to minus two at our own end zone. And right at midfield, just like I promised, it's right about two points. The zero point is right about here. And that happens to be at the our own 15 yard line. And that's the neutral point. That's where uh, the offense and the team on offense and the team on defense are equally likely to score next and, and to the same degree. Now, that does not mean that a safety is equally likely as an offensive score. What that means is it's equally likely any type of score happens for either team. So uh, the, off, the current offense could end up punting, and then the uh, team that's currently on defense would become the offense and could score on their own. So this as an expected point curve. And as you can see, it gets steeper uh, as we get closer to scoring a touchdown. Uh, obviously, the to-go distances are shorter on first down, right, where they're less than 10. Um, and uh, we've got, uh, it steepens as well here, close to our own end zone, uh, because it's tough to move the ball there. So this is what it looks like. This is an expected point curve. And we abbreviate uh, EP for first downs. And that's pretty much the shape uh, for any team 
certain teams will have different uh, variations. It might be a little steeper, uh, higher, uh, but seven points is seven points. So it's going to be anchored up here at the top right at, at seven points at the end zone there, minus two points at our own end zone. Uh, so it, it's no matter what team we're talking about, what offense against what defense, it's going to have the same general shape. Um, some teams, like I said, will be steeper or higher. Um, some teams will be uh, lower. So a really good offense might look something like that. And a below average uh, defense might look something like that. So that's what expected points look like.